Dear friend, you are welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to practically show how to wire a single phase automatic changeover switch from scratch to finish. It's very simple to do if you are able to carefully follow the steps I'm going to show you in this video. Actually, this is an RCBO, 63 amps, and this is a 63 amps RCD together with a single pole MCB. And so these are the things that I'll be needing to build this automatic changeover switch. And this automatic changeover switch is meant to work perfectly on grid and then solar standby power or photovoltaic standby power supply. So this RCBO will serve as an isolator between the load and then the grid. And then this RCD together with the single pole MCB would serve as an isolator between the solar power and then the load. The main component in this wiring is the contactors. So here I'm using two contactors, one for the grid and then one for the solar supply. Then I have two pilot lamps here. One is green and then one is amber. When the grid is supplying power to the load, I want this green light to light so that just by seeing, you know, which of the supplies is being used or which of the supplies is available. And then the amber will light when the solar power is being used. This wiring will be done in such a way that priority will be given to the grid supply. This means that anytime the grid is available, the solar power should turn off. Even if the solar is supplying power to the load, the moment the grid comes on, automatically the grid should take over and because of that arrangement i will need an auxiliary contact i'm going to fix that on the main contactor like this before i start the wiring i'm going to show you a few things on the contactor i'll be making reference to some terminal markings and some particular parts of the contactor and so i'm going to show them to you so that when i mentioned a terminal you'll be readily conversant with it or you'll be readily aware of those parts. Okay, so this is how the contactor looks like. It has four main terminals, one, two, three, and then four. For this wiring, I'm going to use terminals one and two. That is L1 and L2. So I'll be making reference to L1, L2, T1, T2 on both the main contactor and then the solar contactor. All right, the next thing on the contactor is the coil. This is the coil of the contactor. And actually, this is what makes the contacts of the contactor to close or to open. The coil has terminal markings. We have A1 here and then A2 here. So when live and neutral is supplied to this coil, the contacts will close. And then when live and neutral disconnects from the terminals of this coil, the contacts of the contactor open. So I'll be making reference to this A1 and A2. Okay. All right, so let's get started. This is main neutral from the inverter output. Live from the solar supply, main live from the solar supply. Main neutral from the grid, that is from the meter. This is live. Live output from the grid to T1 of the contactor. Then neutral to terminal T2 on the grid contactor. Live output from the solar breaker to terminal T2 on the solar contactor. Neutral output from the solar breaker to terminal T1 on the solar contactor. All right, so simply what I'm going to do is that I said earlier that in this circuit, 
priority is given to the grid power. So anytime the grid is available, the solar should go off for the grid to take over. So I'm going to wire this live and neutral from the grid to A1 and A2 of the grid contactor. So anytime the grid supply is available, the contactor is energized and the contacts close to supply power to the load. All right, so I'm taking a connection from this input live from the grid, and then I'll send it to one terminal of the coil. All right, then I'll take neutral from here also to the second terminal of the coil on the main contactor. So neutral will go to A1, and then life will go to A2. But then I'm going to connect this green light that will come on when the grid is in use. I'll connect it to A1 and A2. So life to A2. Neutral to A1. All right, so just as I did with the grid, here also, I'll take neutral from the main neutral that is coming from the solar, and then I'll connect it to one side of the coil. All right, so I'm taking live from here. That is supposed to energize this coil. But because I'm giving priority to the grid, I'll have to connect this wire that is going to energize the solar coil through the normally closed contacts of the auxiliary contact. So anytime this main contactor is working, there is no way this solar contactor will activate. The solar contactor will only activate when the grid supply is off. And the moment the grid supply is restored, it disconnects the solar supply from the load and the grid takes over. From here, it goes to normally closed contacts on the main contactor. Then the other terminal of the normally closed contacts will now connect to the coil of the solar contactor. So here also, I have this amber lamp that will indicate when the solar is supplying power to the output. And so just as I did with the main contactor and the green lamp, I'm going to connect this red and black to the coil terminals. That is terminal A1 and A2. So here, red for A1, and then black for A2. Okay, that is quite simple. All right, so now we are done with the supply arrangement. Now what we are left with is the connection of the output arrangement to the distribution board or to the load. All right, and that is very simple. So what we are going to do is that at the output, we are going to bridge this red to this red and then this black to this black. In simple terms, at the output or the other side of the contactor, we are going to bridge black from the grid to black from the solar, red from the grid red from the solar. So here I have black and our black to the grid was connected to terminal 2 here but here it is connected to terminal T1 and so I'm going to bridge between line 2 and then line 1 at the output here. Between line 2 and then line 1. Then this red is going to connect between line one here and then line two here that is red to red so now this lamp is representing my load in actual fact you would need more than one load and so the bridged output is supposed to connect to a consumer unit or a distribution board so that from the distribution board you distribute the power to the various loads. But in this video, this is representing my loads. Red will connect to red output, and then black will connect to black output. 
that is neutral. All right, so now we are completely done with the wiring of the single phase automatic change over switch. So this supply is from my solar. This is from the solar. And then this supply is from the grid. All right, so now all is set. And so what happens is that anytime the grid is available, the grid works. And then when the grid goes off, then the solar takes over. All right, so now grid on. Because we have given priority to the grid, anytime the grid is available, the solar will not work. And so this solar, everything is set for the solar to work, but the contactor for the solar will not activate until the grid goes off. And so the moment the grid goes off, the solar power takes over instantaneously, very quickly, without any delay. The moment the grid goes off, the solar takes over. So now the solar is working, but as soon as I on this isolator or I on this switch, the grid will take over. So let's say grid has been restored and then grid takes over. When this green light is on, it means the grid supply is available and is supplying power to the load. The amber is for the solar. All right, so grid goes off and then solar takes over. Grid restored and then grid takes over. Grid goes off, and then solar takes over. Thank you very much for watching this video. And please, if you have learned something new from this video, kindly like and share with others. And please don't forget to subscribe to stay connected. See you in my next video.